Hey guys, we are starting a new series today called The Darman. Um, let's say, like, we're going to call this, I know it's supposed to be Monday right now, but we're going to call it Darman Monday. I know I'm taking inspiration from Sniper Wolf. I don't watch her anymore because she got someone, so I'm not going to watch her anymore because it's bad. Sorry, it's just my grandmother's dog. Uh, oh god, I have pee all over me. If you're wondering why, um, there's pee on the floor, and yeah. anytime if I pick my grandmother's dog up, um, pee's all over the place. Because, like, it always runs away, so, like, I have to figure out different ways to get back into its crate and stuff. Even if you try to give it a treat, um, it won't do anything. I mean, they have this um, dog that they rescued from the shelter named Stacy, who actually isn't that bad. She's sometimes a little nippy, but she's okay. But that's not what we're here for right now. We are here for the live stream. So, guys, I will not be able to see you in this live stream. Like, your comments in the live stream. But, in the comments, I will replay them. And you guys can tell me what kind of videos you want me to see for Darman also. I've been watching Darman for years now. Like, two years now. I even have his merchandise. I have a Darman hat and, tea, uh, and shirt. I have no idea what they are. Um... Yes, this is not our house. This is my grandma's house. Well, then we actually moved into our new house. But for a while, um, we're renting a new house. Um, uh, and we're actually moving in in five days. Uh, this upcoming Friday. But. Let's hit the casino. Because we're going to react to a few. Oh, what did this guy do? Okay, not not the Korean vector. Only eating ice creams from a Korean ice cream stall. Do you such a thing? Yeah, Starman is getting a little weird. Oh, I love this guy. He makes it so much of a ball. Why the castle is so big? So, yes, here's Diamond. Oh, 12 hours ago. The man obsessed with lottery um, ruins, marriage plus fan, uh, fan faves. Oh, that's a little new. Sorry, I'm watching a little bit here, but I'm gonna wind back. Yeah, I know, I know. The Dude. final number is. Come on. Twenty-eight. Come on. Let's go play that! Honey, calm down. It's okay. Whoa. It's not okay. We were just close to being rich. We don't need money to be rich. We just... Technically, if you want to be rich, you do have to have a lot of money. But it looks like you guys are perfectly fine. We do. Why? <sighs> we're getting by just fine. And plus, we have each other. I want more than just to get by, and so do you. L look at how small our house is. Okay, the, the living room is the kitchen, and the kitchen is the living room. What? But we're so poor, we can't even afford a real plant. The lamp is, is broken, it, it looks horrible. Our hot water heater is always on the fritz. And... You know what, come with me. I got something to show you. You ever heard a thing called a hose? Groundwater? That's actually fresh. Look at this car. Does it say winter to you? It barely runs. And this isn't a dream home. 
It's a hut. It's barely a step up from living under an overpass. Dude, it looks fine. What do you want, then? I want to be like Matthew Jackson. What the hell is that? Oh. Huh? Wait, is this a real person or a darling actor? He won $54 million last year. Now he's living a perfect life. After he won, he upgraded his home, and he bought a new car, and he never has to work another day in his life ever again. And then it'll run out of money. It's the dream. But I thought you loved your job. I'm actually going to close this window because it is going to interrupt. I take back my set. There, it's actually closed. It's just really loud outside. Yeah. Happy Sunday, guys. Happy God Day. Yes. Also, thank you everybody for commenting on my videos and supporting me for the live streams I have made for the past few hours. Uh, and the My Room song, thank you. That was actually from two years ago, like 2021. No, that was like 2022. Yeah, that was 2022. Alright. Uh, and what I'm trying to say, guys, is before you watch the the Cold Island Epic Wall Box reaction, I gotta tell you, if you're watching on computer, phone, turn up your volume to 1%. Because that is extremely loud. Because I freaked out. But we're not here to talk about My Sea Monsters. We're here to talk about Doo Doo Man. <laughs> I was calling that. That's fine. But I can never get rich working at job. Listen, I, I know we don't live a glamorous life, but to be honest, I, I never really wanted that kind of life. Oh. Come on. You don't mean it. Yeah, I, I do. You don't need money to be rich. Logically, you do. Because what's i know i'm not trying to stand up for the husband right here but like i'm not standing up for the husband right here okay i kind of am standing up for the husband for one thing um uh, to become rich you actually do have to have money like like millionaire billionaire trillionaire um uh, sextillionaire i don't know i don't know what's about trillionaire <clears throat> Probably a quadrillionaire. Eh, not even, not even Obama has that. Like, don't, don't talk. Yeah, so the husband is right about having to be rich with the money and stuff, but at the same time, the wife is right and stuff. You know, I just stop talking. But you, to become really rich, you need to have money. But if you're living, if you're fluff. Yes, I said fluff. I don't say the F word. I think. Because if you're living perfectly fine, uh, you're living perfectly fine, then you're good. You don't need money. As long as you have some money, you have work. I mean, what do you think all these damn kids do these days? We do you go to school? Uh, not until August. Man, I don't want to go back. What is going on, man? I don't know. Here we go. Besides, I feel like we've already won the lottery. Huh? Oh. What are you talking about? You have someone who loves you for you. Hold on. With. Sorry about that. And no, I did not beat up the dog. Anyone who's going to think that, don't think that. Okay, I did not beat up the dog. Okay, I'm trying to calm this um, dog down. Because I'm not trying to be rude. Or without money. Okay. All I want is to start a family with the man I love. And we don't need to be rich to do that. Do you know how expensive... Yeah, do you know what... The only thing you need is a CC. No, no, no. of kids are I don't want to start a family until I'm rich enough to afford it and you're telling me this now 
We've been doing fertility treatments for a year. I know. I know. And I know. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not, they're not cheap. But it's all gonna be okay. I, I, I'm gonna hit the lotto real soon. I, I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Your all bones right? are crooked. And everything is gonna be perfect. Okay. Let me turn off. Don't touch her like that. I'm gonna call CPS. Wait. No. APS. Adult Protective Services. Winning the lottery was the best thing that ever happened to me. I leveled up my life. From my house to the car to quitting my job and never having to work another day in my life. I don't have to punch a clock anymore. I'm free to just live. Greedy. Oh yeah, baby. Hey, it's a nice bed. Here you go. <coughs> what? No smile for your wife? So Dude, that I'm... looks beautiful. It's not you. I'm just not in the smiling mood. Dude, if you really think your house looks bad, just look at mine. Okay, it's pretty good. It has two stories, but it's a renting house. There's no sale houses. It's, a, it's like a you can like rent these. You can't buy them. Holy woof! Okay. Don't forget to go to the ATM on your way home from work. The fertility clinic? We have an appointment tomorrow, and you know they don't take our credit cards. Ooh. We need 500 bucks. Right, right. 500? I remember. I think at the moment I only have like. Uh. I, I spent some adult tree to get some water equipment for the summer. Uh, what was it? My mom gave me a hundred dollars spent on like decorating the room. Uh, and yes, I will show more Amazon plushie videos. Like they're all gonna be, I'm gonna make my own show about it. I've been playing that for a while now, for about a year or two now. The pump, um, the I'm gonna make it Phantomonium too. Uh, and then yeah, stuff like that. And then I spent like four dollars at Dollar Tree, which I had with my ten dollars for my allowance. Uh, I'm horrible. Sorry, my brain sometimes like loses track. I have that. You know, I even stutter sometimes. Um, I have a hundred and six dollars. Now you're not gonna take my money because that my money. Okay. One day in the future, I'm going to plan in the future, we are going to do donations. And if you guys want to use my referral code, well, you can't because it will happen to my account. I'm starting a new account, but problem is I can't record it because if I get an ad, it's going to stop the recording automatically or it's just going to say I have to repair the download. So I'm going to have to get a new app to record. Like, what I use right here is X Recorder, but stop talking about my and watch as I get to it. I should go. I'm gonna be late for work. Dude, finish your damn coffee. I like iced coffee. I'm a nice coffee guy. Yeah, two green. Ugh, I like what my mom gets. The McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Every single Sunday, we go and get McDonald's before we go to church. Yep, I. Oh my god. Bit Bible, the app that makes you read one Bible verse every Dude, time Dude, I was literally just talking screen. about God. Let's look at the honest reviews from users and see what was helpful. Guys, don't trust this app. Oh, come on! You fucking junk starts!
Yes, yes. Thank you. Quitting my job was the day my life truly started. Everyone dreams of winning the lottery, going into work, and telling their boss off. But I actually did it. Everybody dreams of winning the lottery, going into work, and telling their boss off. But I actually did it. Going into work and telling their boss off. But I actually did it. And what's got you looking so happy? What? Uh, nothing. It's uh, just an email from a client. Nothing important. Good. Because I need you to get these reports done before my meeting with the board tomorrow morning. That's on your phone. Don't. Stop! Is there a problem, Manny? Not a problem at all, sir. <laughs> I am excited to do this. I'm gonna get right on it. <laughs> Did he quit his job? Oh, he's gonna have to escape from his boss. This is smiling as Corpy like you remember that game? Do you guys want to see the horror games on the channel? I can definitely do that. Spare some change. Sorry. He's taking the hundred dollar bills and turning it. Hey, Lenny. How was your day? Terrible. One of the worst days in my life. My boss was all over me. And in and, and the car, it died on me. Again. So I had to walk home from work. But that's all about to change. What does that mean? That means that tonight's the night that we're gonna hit it big. How did you afford all those tickets? I used the $500 that I took out. The fertility money? Wait. Okay, I wanna see real quick. I'm going to search up what does fertility mean? Okay, now you guys can't really see it. What does fertility? Oh no, 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 fertility. So is the ability to conceive a child. The ability rate of the average number of child born during an individual's lifetime is so they're trying to get a child. That's what they're trying to do. They said it was about soil or something, but I knew it was something to do with like a baby and stuff. He used the the baby money? Oh my god, this guy's insane. Do you know how selfish that is? Selfish? I'm doing this for us. This is an investment into our future. We can finally stop being poor and start being happy. I am happy. <gasps> I love our life. And I thought you always did too. Well, I don't. I want better for the both of us. Why is this so hard for you to understand? If this is how you really feel, then we have bigger problems than money. You just don't get it. Yes, I do. 
You're the one who doesn't get it. You're so obsessed with money and material things. <coughs> You're missing what truly matters in life. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's happening? Where are you going? <gasps> You're leaving? I can't stay here anymore. You're not the man I married. Oh, she took off that ring. Fine, go! That just means more money for me! The first number in tonight's jackpot is... Oh! 42! Yes! Yes, okay. Come on, let's go, let's go. Tonight's second number is... Tonight's third number is 31. The fourth number is 20. Yes, yes, we're so close. We're so close. And the final number oh, no. is. Yes! Yes! Anna! Anna, we won! We won! Anyone with the winning ticket should take it to the store where they purchased it to claim their prize. It's here. You got any spare change? You know what? Take it all. Wow. Hey, thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't, aren't you Matthew Jackson? Wait, what? The lottery winner? <gasps> yeah. What happened to you? You think winning the lottery would make your life easier, right? I thought I had to level up my life. You know, I broke up with my girlfriend. I quit my job. Also, I could start living the life I thought I deserved. But what do you mean you thought you deserved? I didn't realize the kind of problems that come with having that kind of money. You don't run out. You ran All out. these new exciting people I was meeting, they didn't care about me. Oh. Only what I could do for them. They saw me as a bank, not a person. I was too caught up in the flashy lifestyle to notice. And then my investment broker. How far can you go with Steps app? Try it out and count your steps now. You like mom? He stole every penny I had. Oh, he stole? All those new exciting friends I thought I had, you know, since they only cared about money when that was gone, so were they. Next thing I know, I was broke. Couldn't get a job, because, well, I ended things pretty badly with my boss. I burned every bridge I had with all my old friends and my family. So the only choice I had was to live on the streets. Dang. I just wish I had listened to my ex when she warned me. What did she say? She always used to say, we didn't need money to be rich. She said, we already won the lottery because we had each other. I didn't realize or understand what she meant at the time. But I do now. Sorry, I gotta go. Good luck to you, though. Oh, he's not gonna do it. What do you want? I, I need to talk with Anna. Please. It's important. I don't think she wants to speak to you. Mom, it's okay. No, it's not okay. He Mom, just can't walk around. Hey. Shut this. up, his fan. This is your marriage.
okay? Uh, and uh, I'm so sorry for everything. I was foolish. Mm -hmm. And I, I was selfish. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll put that over in his face. That's, um, that's a little bit of an understatement. But I, I think I finally understand what you were trying to tell me. Yeah, what was that? On oh, my little walk over here, I, I had a lot of time to think about this, and having money doesn't make me rich. Truly being rich is being surrounded by those who love you. And for me, that's you. No amount of money can ever replace you in my life. I love you, and I, and, I, and I need you, and I will do whatever it takes to get you back in my life. What? I love you, too. And you should know... Huh? We finally hit the jackpot. Uh, wait, how, how'd you find out about this? Uh, find out about what? Uh, I actually won. It's the winning ticket. We, we won five million dollars. You did? Oh my God. Yeah, but no amount of money is worth my family. Oh. You weren't about to rip up a winning lotto ticket, were you? Uh, yeah. I thought that's what you wanted me to do. Uh, no. Um. <gasps> She's pregnant. He's dead. We're pregnant! He's pregnant! <sighs> I can't believe it. Yeah, so, um, we're... Gonna need some of that money after all. But not all of it. You don't wanna have a miscarriage. Just enough to make sure that our child is taken care of. And the rest. Sorry. 2011. I was born in 2012. I'm 11 years old. Soon to be 12 on November 1st. Um, in 2011, I have no idea what that exact day or month it was but we were supposed to have i was supposed to still be the youngest sibling which i am but we're a two sibling family but there was supposed to be a middle child i had no idea what his name was it was a boy um and my mom had a miscarriage for him so like he died like in the womb So I would have had another ba uh, another brother, an older brother than me. We would have been a three brother family. Yeah. Does he don't want to have a miscarriage? We will donate to charity. I'd love that. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Oh, oh, I remember this video, guys. We'll watch this one again, but after that, we are done. Man of assessment. We can't do this anymore. I want a divorce. What? A divorce? I've seen this one. Why? Why? <coughs> That's why. I, I didn't expect my life to go this way. You've had cancer for four years. You're bleeding me dry. Just... And by the way, this is Darman. These videos, this confirmation is Darman bonus. I will link his channel down in the description. And I will link both of these videos down in the description. See myself going through this either. But we made a promise to each other to stay for better or worse. Well, I'm done keeping that promise. Come on, Peter. I know we have our problems, but we you know can work things out. You know what? I need a snack.
Okay, I'm back with my snack. I'm going to move the paper and stuff out of here since this has, you'll see in a sec, the best, one of the best chips in the world. Well, one of my favorite chips. Very popular back in like 20, like 19 and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm still working on the board game, but I need to get back to it. I just saw the Inside Out 2 movie yesterday in theaters. The snack is Takis. I got the mini Takis. The more, uh, the, the more the better. The smaller the better. And I got my water. I'll just be like, this is very good water. I can drink this every day. Take this. That was a clip. But, anyways, let's open the tacky up. You know, guys, how I have stitches in my hand. Um, anytime I open something hard, it I like lose sense of it for a sec. It feels weird. There we go. These are bite size. Whew. Anytime before I eat something spicy, I always get a tingle in my, uh, tingle in my mouth. <sighs> Tacos are too spicy for me. I do feel spice, but it's like a buffalo spice, kind of. I've one time eaten a whole Takis bag without a drink. Like, actually. Only like a few months ago. For better or worse. Okay. Well, I'm done keeping that promise. Come on, Peter. I know we have our problems, but... Actually, instead of doing two separate of them, I'm going to do one. Work things out. I'm seeing someone else. What? Oh. You're cheating on me. For the past year, she makes me feel alive again. Unlike you. Oh, it feels so good to say that out loud. You're unbelievable. You Love better you. get a good lawyer. I already did, sweetheart. I hired the best divorce attorney in the city. And I've met with every divorce lawyer in the area. And legally, they're not allowed to represent you. This My lawyer the first... already drew up the documents. Fun fact, this was actually the first Darwin bonus I watched. And one of the first ones that came out. It actually used we'll to be darn behind the morning. scenes. This is outrageous. According to this agreement, you're left with everything and I get nothing? I am not signing that. Oh, yes, you will. You will sign that paper. Or my lawyer will make your life a living nightmare. You will be in the courts for years with a second-rate lawyer by your side. Do you know how expensive that'll be? Make the spice here, but I don't like it. I was starving. Finish packing your bags. I want you out of here tonight. Tonight? Where am I supposed to go? I have work in the morning. I have an important client coming in tomorrow Ellie, morning. Ellie, Ellie. <laughs> I don't care. That paper says we are no longer married. <coughs> and you're no longer my problem. Damn.
I tried to open my own Discord server and I just realized that it would get shut down like immediately. <coughs> Hello. Good evening. Checking in? Yes. <coughs> One room, please. Oh no. I'm sorry, ma'am. Is this that this card has been declined? Oh, no. There must be a mistake. Can you run it again? Sure. I've not seen this in a while, so I will be surprised. If, because I haven't seen it in a while. It's still not working. Could you give me one moment? Thank you. Cancel my credit cards? I sure did. And before you ask, I changed all the passwords and pin codes for our joint account. Some of that money was mine and you know it. What am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to get a hotel? <laughs> Listen, there's a cheaper motel just down the road. They have plenty of rooms and they take cash. Thank you. No problem. Good luck. <sighs> One room, please. Uh, 80 bucks for the night. For this place? It's a bit steep, isn't it? It's a last minute booking. If you do two nights, I can make it a flat hundred. Please, there must be something you can do. I've had the worst Keep night. your sob story to yourself, lady. Don't like the prices, find another motel. I know, that's not the motel. It's called a Japanese motel. Apparently. Oh, Room 124, down the hall to your left. Thank you. Where have you been? You're late. I know. I'm so sorry. You're sorry? We almost lost the Anderson account because you weren't here. Sorry, boss. I promise this will not happen again. Oh, you bet it won't. You almost cost the firm one of its biggest clients. I gotta let you go. What? <laughs> you don't understand. Last night, my husband... I don't want to hear your excuses. You're fired. <gasps> no, yet. Just hear me out. Please, just... Do I need to call security? No. I know we just met, but if, if you need someone to talk to, I am a really good listener. The truth is, my whole world has fallen apart. The last 48 hours, my husband of 10 years left me. I got kicked out of my house. I got fired from my job. I haven't eaten in almost two days. I can barely afford to even buy that sandwich. This is not how I saw my life going. I am so sorry. Listen, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't picture spending my golden years in a convenience store as a minimum wage clerk. <laughs> but voila. We still look pretty happy, though. Well, my mother always taught me that everything happens for a reason. And if I have learned one thing in life, it's that when one door closes, another one opens. Wait. And I am. Wait. Shut up, phone. 
If you're waiting for that door to open, I can do it. Bro. If you're waiting for that door to open, dude, I got you. <laughs> Good one, right? Waiting for that door to open. Uh, I appreciate the kind words. I really do. I just don't think there are any more open doors for me. I want spaghetti. <laughs> Sorry. I'd rather really have spaghetti than this. Yeah, you should buy a lottery ticket. The drawing is tonight. The jackpot is over 500 million. <laughs> no. I don't feel very lucky. Oh, come on, give it a shot. Your luck has got to change sooner or later. It wouldn't matter anyways. I'm down to my last three dollars. I can't afford to buy a ticket and the sandwich. That sandwich is not going to fill you up. <laughs> and as you've noticed, I really need that sandwich. Then this ticket is on me. Lexi, really? that one. I insist. But you hardly have anything. Not much. My mama also taught me to spread kindness around those who need it. And I always listen to what my mother told me. <laughs> Your mother sounds like an incredible lady. <sighs> Enjoy. Thank you for everything. You are so welcome. Hope your luck changes soon. And the winning numbers are 10, 17, 33, 51, 64, and 5. Mr. Jenkins, you filed a motion claiming that you have a right to half of your ex-wife's lottery winnings. Is this correct? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. Uh, we were married for 10 years. Half that money is rightfully mine, and she knows it. And according to the record, you filed for divorce one day before Ms. Jenkins purchased the lottery ticket in question. Is that true? Okay, I break. Is that true? What does that matter? We're only talking about a couple of hours difference. Is it also true that you canceled your ex-wife's credit cards and closed your joint banking accounts the same night the divorce papers were signed, even a day before they were filed? It is, as I had every right to do. Maybe you can explain to me why you feel entitled to have of your ex-wife's lottery winnings, which she purchased a day after the divorce was final. And you made it abundantly clear that she was not entitled to any of your assets. Okay. Just one day before. Y your Honor, let's just, let's just back up for one second here. Hold here's on, the thing. Uh, your Honor, here's that's the thing. enough, Mr. Jenkins. You were the one that pushed for the quickie divorce and the court granted your wish. That being the case, you have no right to Ms. Jenkins' winnings. Motion denied.
Ellie, let's give it another shot. No, not a chance. It's like you said, I am no longer your problem anymore, remember? Well, hey, look at you. It's so nice to see you not crying. <laughs> so did you find that open door? I sure did. And look what was behind that door. What is this? That is your check for $50 million. Turns out you were right. When one door closes, another one always opens. I can't accept this. This is... I insist. You deserve every cent of that. Without your advice and kindness, I don't think I would have ever found that open door. You won't have to live your golden years as a minimum wage clerk anymore. I guess Mama was right after all. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Why are you guys getting a divorce? Okay, we're gonna stop it here. I'm tired of this talkies. Guys, you want one? You guys want one? You guys want a talkie? <laughs> Doggy's fingers. I'm not gonna lick them because I am. So we're gonna end the video right here, guys. Um, if you like this Darby video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will reply to any comment that you guys um do. Bye guys. Oh, oh, oh. Bye. Oh, nope.